My name is Christine Alfrey. I'm an artist from Northern Wisconsin, and I'm talking about this work that I currently call The Gatekeepers. But it began as a piece in my circus series. And um, since most of the circus series has been sold, I um, changed the name of this piece to The Gatekeepers. At first it was called Send in the Clowns because when you're at a circus, you can remember um, the big rings, the three ring circus, and the clowns would always come out and cheer up the crowd and make them laugh and everything. So these were clowns with their different wagons and contraptions that made them move. But now it's become the gatekeepers and it's just such a strong, powerful name for this work. And it's, it's got four pillars. These gatekeepers hold the keys to whatever is important to you. They're the ones that stop you from going to the place that you want to go. Or they allow you entrance to the place that you want to go. But they control how you get in and how you might get out. So they're colorful, they're playful, they're happy. So I pr prefer to think of them as aiding you in going where you want to go. They have, I've, I've put wonderful different colors on them, the yellow, the yellow, the pink, the teals, but then all this color down here brings out the life in the whole piece. This piece is just filled with tons and tons of detail. It took me an extremely long time to do. And um, if you've ever heard me talk about my work before, if an area doesn't move, then I just paint over it and start over again. And if there's areas in the work that works for me, then I leave them in and try to figure out how to include them in the whole composition. So this work is filled with tons of texture. As I was looking at it before I started talking, if you look right in here, you can see the blending of a whole flow of colors. It's just so absolutely glorious. I mean, just the ribbon of color that goes through here, like a river, is just so cool. And up here, I frequently am known to put critters in my work. So these are critters, and they're just flying around like flyer, fireflies would fly around. And they have tiny little feet that are here. And you notice that this huge piece has this very detailed line in here. The wonderful, wonderful ink lines that connect all these critters. And these critters in this piece were the beginning of um, what I call my constellation series. They started interconnecting and how we connect. And then we connect with these, these lines that move us through the piece. If you look at this dotted line that goes through here and all the way across to the other side to more critters that are connected. And then they flow back here. And then there's people up here trying to get in past the gatekeepers that are propelling themselves down into the piece uh, from the sky. This is just such a wonderful line. But they come from the critters and how they're gonna get in. These are movements. This represents a wave. You can imagine them coming in. And as always, this piece is filled with circles. These pieces here, these marks, are very familiar to those who follow my work. They're wheels and they represent movement. So these are things moving along in front of the gatekeepers. Sometimes they're entrapped by ropes from the ground instead of coming up from the sky like the others. Sometimes they're compasses and the detail that goes on here. As you can see, I'm a very gestural person. So the idea that actually what happened with this mark right here is I have a ketchup tube full of this color paint and uh, I'm working away on it and I have fans blowing on me all the time because I'm very 
active when I paint. And I didn't turn the fan off. And look at this, how glorious this mark is. This was, these were caused by the fan. Mm -hmm. And I like them so much that I let them be. But as you get into this piece, you can just see all the texture. These are new marks for me. I did this piece about towards the end of 2019, 20, beginning of 2019, and I haven't repeated these marks, but wow, I love them. And I haven't decided what they are, but they're here. And the, the way to get up to the gatekeepers, which is cool. Here's the more black and white lines that bring us movement to get over to this space. Color that goes through here, repeating the magenta and the teal and the yellow, black and white, white dotted lines, a drift of things that are trying to make it in or out. You can just look at this piece forever and ever. There's so much detail in it. And as I personally look at it, I know what's underneath and what I covered up. And it's just so cool. So, wanted to share it with you. Look at this right here. Isn't that wonderful? Look at these colors coming together. The crack in the paint. It is a canvas stretched on stretcher bars. And it also, because it has so much texture in it, and I, I wanted this texture to lay flat um, as I presented it, it has a piece of board behind it that uh, keeps it flat. Look for videos as I do new works, and if you need a video done of a piece that I've already painted and haven't videotaped it yet, just email me at christine at christinealfrey.com.